Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I am here with a Love Notions Extravaganza Week. <laughs> so today, obviously I'm not normally here on Mondays, but today is the start, the kickoff of um, one of the three annual sales that Love Notions does. And um, from today, uh, May 2nd, 2022, till Friday, May 6th, 2022, all patterns are 40% off with the exception of the Aria uh, button down shirt and the course that goes with it. Because those are actually, those are still on sale through the end of today today. But um, because those were just released and on sale, they are not part of the sale, but everything else is free game. So um, just to give you guys some inspiration and just really um, celebrate Love Notions this week, I will have three videos out, um, well four I guess, counting Sunday, <laughs> but three um, during the work week here. I will have a video today and on Wednesday and on Friday. So back in the fall when they did their um, one of their other sales, um, I had done a video on my top 10 cool weather looks or cool weather patterns and I'm going to do one with my warm weather patterns today. Um, everyone seemed to really enjoy that pattern, that video, so we'll do that. Um, Wednesday, I'm gonna be highlighting some ready to wear summer dresses that I love and we'll be pairing those with Love Notions patterns and talking about hacking ideas and all that kind of stuff. And then Friday is going to be a complete um, video dedicated to my love of the cadence. <laughs> which is their woven um, kind of a shift dress, but it has, a, as with many, um, a whole bunch of different variations. So um, I'm just doing a whole thing uh, with ready to wear inspiration with the cadence. I've made a few cadences, just a whole bunch of cadence stuff on Friday. Um, for Sundays, now that we're, I'm filming this on Sunday, so it's May 1st, uh, you're watching it on the 2nd, but I am going to be um, doing roundups of Me Made May on Sundays instead of my normal tutorials or sew alongs. So stay tuned for that. I also apologize if I look super tired. I just drove in from Chicago this morning. I met my sister and um, in Chicago for the weekend we had tickets to a comedian um, on Friday night and um, our cousin, one of our cousins and my sister's best friend live in the Chicago area. So the four of us, we got a hotel in downtown Chicago Friday night, um, went to the show on Friday, we did some shopping um, and then we ended up back at my cousin's house um, on Saturday evening. Uh, anyway, my sister's flight, she flew in. I drove, obviously. I mean, well, Indianapolis is only like a couple of hours from Chicago. I'm north of Indianapolis and I can get to downtown Chicago depending on traffic in about two and a half hours. Um, and I got to, I can get to my cousin's house in like three. So anyway, <laughs> but my sister flew cause she's in the Kansas City area, but her flight left this morning at um, 5.45 in the morning. So I had, I, you know, taking one for the team because I love my sister. <laughs> I dropped her off at the airport and just came home. Um, so I, yeah, I left my cousin's house at 4.10 this morning <laughs> um, and got home really early. So if I'm sounding hoarse, it's just because I have not had enough sleep and I'm really tired. And if my eyes just look puffy, that is why. Also, just couldn't even be bothered with trying to straighten my hair right now. We've had so much rain, it's just an uphill battle. <laughs> Okay, but I do have footage of my sister and the two things I made her and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. All right guys, these are my 10, my top 10 warm weather patterns. So these are patterns that, um, and some of these patterns can go for cold weather too, um, but when I am, you know, building my wardrobes and stuff, these are the patterns that I go to for the warmer months um, where I live. Now, one of the things that I love about Love Notions patterns uh, the most is that she has some really basic um, styles, you know, style lines, that sort of thing, which is totally my aesthetic. But she pairs that with a whole bunch of different variations, and they're all very hackable as well if you wanted to create something different. Like, they're great base patterns, also great as themselves. Um, I've talked on here before, my style guide posts, so the things that I, the three words that I think when I'm buying anything for myself or making stuff for myself is that I want my wardrobe to be chic, current, and classic. And by classic, I mean um, a lot of tailored looks. All right, I'm, a piece of hair is tickling my nose. <laughs> A lot of, um, you know, clean lines, a little bit minimalist, minimalist jewelry, um, not a ton of fussy details. That's just kind of my, um, my own, where I tend to gravitate with my own style. 
I love that for Love Notions patterns because I can take well, and you'll see on Friday, like the Cadence, which is a very simple silhouette, use beautiful fabric and just create something really, really cool. So that's kind of my favorite thing. And I have these broken up into like bottoms and then woven blouses, knit blouses, and then dresses. Okay, yeah, so I kind of have them broken down into categories. But let's dig in and I will pop photos of me in the garments that I've made You're just gonna sit next to me and sneeze. All right, for the bottoms, number one, the Allegro shorts, pants, skirt. Is that everything? It has a, this pattern has a ton of use. It has like a woven, it's for woven fabrics. It has, um, with elastic waist, has pockets. It is meant, um, it has like a woven jogger pattern. It has just like a woven pant with like a tapered leg, um, a couple of different inseams with shorts, and then a skirt. And I think a couple of different lengths in the skirt as well, if I'm not mistaken. This pattern is so comfortable. I have mentioned on here before, I suffer from um, some autoimmune um, diseases and I have, where it fl flares up mostly in me is that my stomach swells. So I get a very, a very fluctuating waistline, elastic pants, my best friend um, and I love these Allegro's I made um, I did a whole series last well a video and I'll pop the link up to the video up here but um, where I went through the fitting of the Allegro's and finally I think I have a really good you know I made a whole bunch of tweaks and made quite a few pairs I have a really good fitting pattern now I really want to make a pair of the pants maybe the joggers but I really want to make a pair of just the straight tapered leg pant for um, the summer and a really, I know linen. I really want to do that. Maybe even a linen rayon blend. I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> but I think that those would get worn so much in my wardrobe and my shorts that I have, I have a couple in um, linen and I have, um, or I guess one in linen and then I have a pair in like a tinsel 12 or a viscose 12 um, and I just wore the living daylights out of them. One of the things I love about the shorts is that the leg is not super wide on the shorts, which at first I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but it keeps your shorts from riding up when you walk. It's a very clever um, uh, drafting there because I don't get, and I do get the bunch up, I carry some weight right in the the top of my thighs and my inner thighs and it works my shorts up you know i know that i'm not alone on that, <laughs> but very easily and i'm yeah really impressed with the allegros they're really great shorts all right pattern number two is the glissando pants shorts and skirt this is um also for a woven pattern it is uh it comes with like a wide leg crop um oh my gosh this hair is like tickling my nose i'm so sorry Wide leg crop, it shorts and um, skirt. I, where is it coming from? There, maybe we're good now. <laughs> um, now this is like a woven waistband. It has the exposed uh, button fly. I actually did on their channel a tutorial on how to do a zipper fly if you prefer that to the button fly um, on their channel. I'll link their channel down, their YouTube channel down below. Um, all the ambassadors put content on there um, throughout the year as well. So that's kind of fun to see a whole bunch of different faces um, over on their channel. But um, yes, I've done the zipper fly on that channel. And then on my channel, I did, um, showed you how I made just a wider waistband or a um, longer waistband for my size, omitted the darts and just put elastic in the back of the pants and they wear so wonderfully. So I'll link that video up here. I just really love those. My, um, I've made the, the, um, cropped pants in Navy and I, those I'm wearing right now, they're in my spring capsule and I love them. Um, yeah, they're just really, really great. And I did the, the elastic in the back on those as well. And then I also have uh, my red shorts. So I'll be looking forward to pulling those out this summer as the weather starts to warm up, but they are um, just delightful. So it's a great, and again, pants, shorts, and skirts. I mean, you get so much for one pattern. It's crazy. Um, okay. Next up, we're going to talk about some woven blouses that I love. Also, I don't think I mentioned it's a 40% off sale and you can use Tomcat 10 for an additional 10% off. 
Now it doesn't come up to 50% off the patterns, so the, I think the 40% gets taken off the patterns, and then an additional 10% off that price gets taken off, so it's a little less than 50% when you look at it that way. But anyway, you can still get, you know, quite a bit off. This is a great, great sale. Okay, Ballad Blouse. I, this pattern is so cool, and it comes with a couple of different options in the front, and a couple of different sleeves as well, but it's got an elastic smocked, um, the, or not smocked, well yeah, smocked, but like the shirring that is uh, at the yoke, which was a lot of fun, and the version that I have, I did do that, or if you don't want to mess with the elastic, the shirring, um, you can do just gathers there, which is also really beautiful, and I'd love to try that. This is a button-up um, blouse, but I don't have to unbutton the buttons at all. It just, if you make this in a beautiful rayon or viscose, I used a um, viscose crepe, or rayon crepe from the fabric store and this this beautiful color it's called pollen but it's like an ochre color or mustard color I just really love this top it just drapes beautifully it hangs I can half tuck it looks beautiful out it doesn't sit weird on my bust it's just a really lovely top and I would like to make another one maybe in a print um, and just do the gathers this time so state that it could be coming. I may wait till I'm sewing for summer for that one, but yeah, I think that's going to be coming up here soon. Um, next, the Harmony blouse. This is just a woven t-shirt. It is, um, but it is kind of a, it's fitted through the bust and then it flares out. Um, actually, the cadence comes and has a shirt view as well, but it's a little more close. It's a little closer to the body. I feel like the Harmony is just a little bit more fitted to the bust and then flares out. It's meant for woven fabrics. It has quite a few um, sleeve options. You could make it sleeveless. I've made it both, both with a sleeve and without a sleeve. Very simple, but you use a beautiful fabric as I did in both of mine and you've got just a really lovely woven t-shirt pattern. I used a striped um, rayon crepe for the sleeveless version that I made and then the other uh, version with the beautiful floral. I love that fabric so much. I yeah, I love, that's one of my favorite fabrics. Uh, but I used a Rayon Chalet. That's a Rayon Chalet, a Rifle Paper Company uh, Rayon Chalet um, for the red um, woven t-shirt. But it's just such an easy throw it on and it just kind of makes everything look elevated. It's a, a really good pattern. Okay, next, the Rhapsody. I'm sorry, I know that I mention this all the time. It is one of my favorite woven blouse patterns. I love the different sleeve options. I um, have made it with the ties that hang down. I've made it without. I just think the neckline's really beautiful on it and the shape is really beautiful. It's got the gathering that's there at the shoulders and it kind of comes in just enough at the waist, um, but it's still loose, so nothing gathers at my waist. Again, I don't want anything really pooling at my waist. It fluctuates wildly. Um, and this comes with so many different options. You can make it as a dress, you can make it as a top. Again, so many sleeve options. It's a really, really great pattern. I mean, you look at the, the photo art and it's just like so many variations. Um, it's beautiful in a drapey fabric, but I have also made it in linen and um, I think I'm just popping up my most recent one, which actually was in a lightweight linen and it looks wonderful in the lightweight linen as well. Um, I still have quite a few in my wardrobe that I wear frequently, but I made it in silk, I've made it in viscose twill, um, I've made it in chalet, I've made it in cotton lawn. That one got gifted to my cousin because it wasn't in my colors. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great pattern. Okay, I have one knit top on here because um, I was trying to keep things to just 10. <laughs> But I put the Forte top on here. This is the Forte top and dress. This is for knits. I put this on here because I think this is an elevated t-shirt. So it's just a, a knit t-shirt, but it takes things up to the next like level with the um, different sleeve variations and so the the seaming that you can get um, along, you know, the um, underneath the bust and all of that. It just is a really fun pattern. And I kind of dismissed this one for quite a while. And then when I made my ivory one, maybe in last summer, I think it was last summer I made my ivory one. I love it. This pattern is perfect for a viscose jersey fabric. Um, it, it just, you need that drape and it, it really, it really is good. And it's just so easy to throw that on with a simple, um, you know, bottom of some sort. And I feel a little bit more, um, it just has a little more detail. So I feel a little bit more put together without going overboard. Because again, I don't like a ton of details. It's just not, it's just not my style. Um, but I do really enjoy the Forte with some of the different sleeve options and stuff. And I love my cream one. Okay, dresses and one pieces. 
the Tempo Sundress. Folks, this dress is so cute, so flattering, and so wonderful to wear in the summertime. <laughs> This one's got the shirred um, panel that's in the back, so it makes it very easy to fit. Um, it does have darts in the front. I make the full bust option for, for all the patterns. A medium with a full bust. Um, some of the, let's see, the glissandos come in um, numbered sizing. I'm trying to remember what I make. I feel like I make like a 12. And then I did the 16 waistband because I omitted the darts and then put elastic in the back to cinch it back in. Um, but anyway, everything else is a medium with the full bust, if that's an option. Um, but the Tempo Sundress, I was a tester for this one. It just has the tiered skirt, or it has a straight skirt option, above the knee, full length. It is so good. And I used this wonderful, um, uh, crinkle rayon from Minerva to make mine. And it transitioned so well from summer into fall because of the colors. Like, it made it really easy to layer it over things, as well as, um, wearing things over it. But I can't wait to... It, to get a little bit warmer um, and me to wear this again this summer. It's just it's so floaty. It's just a, a beautiful quintessential summer dress. It's, it's a good one. Um, next, the Sunday romper and dress. This is for knits, although with the romper you can, or I guess the dress too, you can do a woven fabric on the bottom if you want because it's very um, wide in order to get on over your hips and then the elastic cinches it back in. Um, but you do need knit for the top because it is not drafted with any ease for um, the top piece. But I made this red romper version uh, when I was a tester for this. I think this came out in the summer of 2020. I could be wrong. But anyway... I have worn it to death. I used a cotton modal from, I think it came from the fabric store down in New Zealand, to be honest. Um, but I, I have worn it to death. Like it looks so worn, <laughs> I'm, like tired. It's such an easy thing in the summer to throw it on and it can look very casual with like my Birkenstocks or I can dress it up with a heel if we're going out for dinner and a fun necklace. The beautiful neckline in the front and back is wonderful. Again, there's a ton of variations on this one as well. Um, I'd like to make one of the like pants or like a cropped uh, leg. I think that would be a lot of fun, but this is such a great pattern. And again, I just had to get rid of mine because it, I mean, I had just worn the fabric. <laughs> just been washed so much. Um, it was faded. It was pilling. It was just not a good look anymore. So there will definitely be one on my cutting table this summer because I'm going to have to replace it. I wear it so much in the summer. It's a, a, a yeah, it's a really great pattern. Um, next, the Tessa sheath dress. This is my go-to knit, um, well, sheath dress. <laughs> um, although it's not like fitted, as fitted as a lot of sheath dresses, there is ample, um, ease in the hips, I feel like. Um, I, it's a t-shirt dress that is, it's just a wonderful t-shirt dress, or you can make it elevated for like a formal event. So I was um, a tester for when they re-released this pattern in the full size range and with the full bust fronts, which was around Christmas actually, because you can tell by the pictures I'm showing. Uh, but I made three. I made one in a ponte, or two in a ponte. One was a patterned ponte. One was like a dark blue ponte. That dress got worn I mean, that's like my little black dress. I don't wear black, um, but this is like my little dark blue dress. <laughs> but I can dress it up, dress it down. It is such a fantastic pattern. Although I feel like that's a little bit more cold weather. But my striped version that I made, um, even though I did the three quarter length, I'm totally gonna wear that this summer. Um, it's gonna be perfect for in and out of uh, air conditioning. Um, if I've had too much sun and I wanna cover my arms just a little bit more. It's just a lovely t-shirt dress. My striped one I made in a cotton lycra, and it's just very, very comfortable. Just an elevated cotton jersey dress that it sews up super quickly. It's just a really good pattern. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a favorite. And then finally, for number 10, I put the Summer Basics uh, dress and top on here. Now, I've made the dress, and the dress comes with a... Um, shelf bra pattern in there as well. So if you want to just, you know, make it in like a power mesh, you can easily wear this dress without a bra because you can, it has like the built-in bra that you can put in there. I've done that once, I have the dress here. My boobs are just too heavy <laughs> to be in a shelf bra. I tried it with this dress because I did crisscross straps in the back, um, but I ended up donating it. I just don't like the way my boobs look in it. So 
Anyway, it was a sew the look that I did, but you know, sometimes things don't work out. But what I really love about this pattern, this pattern actually sits at my cutting table and when I'm cutting out um, cotton or any kind of jersey um, for like a t-shirt or whatever, if I have enough scraps, I'll go ahead and cut out a Summer Basics tank because they are fabulous for layering, for wearing alone, um, and I wear them year round, you know, cause I'll wear them under things and it's just a really, really great tank pattern. <laughs> I've got so many in my wardrobe and I'll have like a matching t-shirt also in my wardrobe. I've made them in the Merino um, jersey from the fabric store before, which is a fantastic, I mean you wear it alone obviously, but a really fantastic layering piece in the cold months if you just want like a, um, well as the the British say, a little vest underneath, um, you know, to help keep you warm. It's a great layering piece, uh, but also really wonderful by itself. So this is a it's my definitely my go-to knit tank pattern for the warmer months. Okay, and then I'm including a bonus 11th pattern because I had to. The Aria is not included in the sale, but today is the last day of the sale. So you can still get the Aria for $10 for the pattern. Um, it's not the, you know, the 40% off, but you can still get it today only for the $9 um, for the pattern. It will go up to $12.50 tomorrow and you can still get the bundle with the Aria course right now, which if you put the course, which is $25, into your um, uh, basket, it adds the pattern for free. So that's the bundle deal, but today anyway is the last day of that sale, and then tomorrow the course will be $25 and the pattern will be $12.50. So if you've been thinking about it, definitely grab that today. And that brings me to um, what I made my sister. So I showed you guys the Aria that I made for my sister. I got some footage of her in it when we were in Chicago. So this is her Aria. She loves it. She was a big fan. We did it in a double cotton gauze. Um, I talked about it on Friday, but this is her actually in it. Um, she does have a little wet spot on it. We were at a restaurant when she was <laughs> doing the twirls here and it was raining and she has like a wet splot on her pants and she was like oh my gosh you can't put that up but it's fine you know she didn't spill anything on herself it was just from the rain <laughs> but she loves her new aria and then the other top that i promised to show you twirls in is her uh style arc uh Ine woven dress pattern but i made it into the um a cover-up and so this is how she's going to wear it this summer as a cover-up um this was in the hotel room we did a, a quick little film she it's deconstructed it's exactly like the um inspiration picture that she sent me but we were able to make it one of her colors and so yes she was completely over the moon with both of those so a big thank you to my sister for modeling for the channel although she does get clothing for free from me <laughs> She pays for supplies, that's it. Um, as long as she uh, agrees to go on the channel. So she's getting off pretty good, I think. Anyway, if, yes, I've just gotta throw the Aria out there though, because not only is it great, but the reason I made this for her in a double cotton gauze was for her to wear at ball games. Um, her oldest son plays travel baseball, and so she's at the baseball fields all the time, and she wanted something with a little bit of coverage, but that was still cool and airy. The Aria would be perfect for that. You can make it with just the banded collar, the full collar, make it in a beautiful cotton gauze um, or a rayon um, if you wanna go down that route. I love my rayon Aria dress, but it is trickier to sew. Um, or even a cotton lawn would be nice and breezy um, if you want something with a little bit more coverage but that still breathes in the hot weather. So that's why we made it for my sister. And so I thought I would add it on as a bonus pattern here at the end of this list. Okay guys. That is it. As a wrap up, 40% off all Love Notions patterns this week from today, May 2nd, 2022, through Friday, May 6th, 2022. 40% off everything except the Aria button up shirt and uh, the course that goes with that. Although that is still on sale today only. So it's got had some overlap there. Um, and you can use Tomcat 10 and get an additional 10% off, and that's an additional 10% off. If you got the Aria in the course um, today, it would be an additional 10% off that too. So off everything, but even off the sale prices. Um, also, Tessa and Tammy with Love Notions are doing a giveaway, um, I think at the end of the week is my understanding, but they're gonna be giving one person and their, their wish list up to 10 patterns 
for free. Um, you just have to post a screenshot of your wish list that you've put into your cart um, on their site to one of their social media accounts and you'll be entered to win that. Um, and they said, don't worry if you wanna go ahead and shop the sale now. If you do win the grand prize at the end, they will refund the money back and you can have your 10 patterns for free. So don't let that hold you back from shopping if you've entered that giveaway. Um, it's just a really, really um, a fun thing. And I'm going to do a little bit of a pattern giveaway here as well. So um, I'm just gonna gift one of you a uh, pattern of your choice. Um, so leave a comment down below and that'll be, that's all you gotta do. That'll be your entry into the um, sale. Now saying that, I probably am not going to respond um, it helps me just when I'm pick, randomly picking the winner from this video. Um, I'll probably just be responding with um, like a heart emoji to everyone. Normally I answer questions. So don't put any questions <laughs> in the comments of this video. Um, you can either send me an email or DM me or wait till Wednesday and then you can put questions in the comments. Um, but I'll just be going through reading everything. But yeah, just leave a comment. Tell me what pattern you'd like. You can change your mind, uh, but I'll be picking a winner uh, probably Thursday night and I'll announce it um, during Friday's video. So yeah, leave your comment and uh, I'll be giving away one pattern to a lucky winner. And that will include uh, the Aria, not the course, but that will include the Aria. So if you want to put the Aria, um, you know, if you do win that one, you can do that. Okay, I think that's all I've got for today. I'll be back on Wednesday doing a little ready to wear inspiration um, summer dress thing um, with the Love Notions patterns. Okay guys, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Again, I'll be back on Wednesday and Friday this week and then on Sunday. And then we'll be back to the normal Tuesday, Friday, Sunday schedule starting next week. Okay, have a wonderful Monday folks. Have a good week and I will see you all next time. Bye.